Hi everyone. I think I'm uh, recording now. I just come in from outside and brush a little snow off our cedar trees and our, um, I don't know, like big one in the backyard is like um, a spruce or, or a mugo pine and all the branches off a uh, choke cherry and our cedar against our master bedroom and oh boy, what a hard time to off with the broom, you know, and pushing it away and trying to get all the snow off falling on my head and everything. So I got a little bit wet here on my, it's not too bad though, on my clothes and it's going to dry off. Anyway, I, <clears throat> I want to show you uh, how uh, I just got this uh, Merlin M4 spruce uh, in the spring. I think it was uh, somewhere in February, March or something like that. And it's really beautiful, a uh, little guitar here and uh, really lovely and uh, really nice and light. It's like an old English instrument or something, I don't know what they call them in there cellos or whatever anyway I, I, I'm gonna do um, a Taylor Swift song that's uh, uh, what's it called now story uh, what is it called now love story love story that's it I thought it was a story of something it's love story uh, it's not all complete with all you know the majors and minors and orchestras and everything in the background instruments but it's enough just sort of to capture a bit of the melody and so you can hear what the Merlin does sound like. So it's really pretty. Here we go. Uh, Love Story, Taylor Swift by Gretchen. Thank you. 
thanks for all your views. We've seen you with another one. Me, yeah, I'm going to get um, another one with um, Gretchen's green sleeves. Thanks. See it. Oh, are we on? I think we're on. I don't know. Well, give it a try. Whoop! Hang you on, know, bang that thing. Here, and I hope the volume comes out too as I have a new uh, stereo mic on a tripod here. So uh, it's this guy right over here. Uh, just got it. A bunch of stuff a few days ago. Mics, cords, jacks, finger picks, thumb picks, and uh, finger picks, and so on. Okay, I guess we're rolling, so hopefully we are, and hopefully the sound could come out, and here's my green sleeves. Our old English song, we changed up a little bit, to, uh, to my taste. <laughs>
Thank you. See you again soon. Hi everyone, <clears throat> uh, Gretchen here, and uh, just got uh, some uh, uh, new uh, ukes, ukuleles uh, from Amazon, and uh, got, this one's a Pison, one of the rosewood, and uh, really neat. Got the uh, curved back on it. I got the uh, shark, Macal shark, which is a soprano. This is a, a tenor one. Which is a 26 inch when we got this here pies in the uh, concert one um, which is a 23 inch one uh, all each a little bit different and I uh, just want to do a couple of tunes here in this uh, these times and uh, see how it goes hope you like them I was practicing up for a little bit so it's all my own kind of uh, western -y tune and a couple of other things or whatever let's see what we got
Okay, how about uh, we get the uh, get the other Pison concert. I've got the nice cutouts here on that, and all the ribbony light and dark woods on it. I believe it really finely made. It's the same uh, uh, curved back there, and that is on the other Pison one. That's a complete rosewood on that, except for the. Uh, Rosewood in the neck or the mahogany neck. This I think a mahogany neck and um, I think it's mahogany on there and a spruce top. So uh, maybe some pearly shells. got it wrong that's what it is anyway between the two there <laughs> okay and um, how about um, my other one here oh wait a minute I want to do the um, the um, it don't matter anymore And 
while we're at it. Not to forget about this little guy here, the Michaela shirt. Um, and uh, this is the Soprano. That's the 21 inch. Uh, it's also curved here at the back. Well, it's pretty precision little uke. By Kala, Michaela. Did get these uh, little tuners with them too. And uh, they are quite handy. Could hold down in a bit for your tuning. But the G, A, I'll tell you right away whether it's uke for violin or guitar, mandolin, things like that. And uh, there's your C, third string. It'll actually say the number. You know, G, four, G, three, uh, C, and uh, two E, and G, four G. Uh, actually, E, it should be A. Um, this one's out a little bit. That's it, E. So it's uh, G, C, E, and uh, A. And if it's not coming out exactly there, I don't know. Could be just the what uh, way it is like that. And uh, sometimes these things just kind of uh, goof up a little bit, you might say. <laughs> so you compensate and tune by ear, you know, so you get the your regular uh, tuning. Right, that right there. On each one, a little bit tone difference because of the wood and the length of the scale of the uh, neck and so on. Oh, there it is, A. Didn't have quite have it there, so let's go over that again. Here we got, you hit the hard, hard enough on the string, you get G, 4, G. Hit hard enough again, 3, C. I don't know if you could see that. You get 2, meaning the second string, meaning, and you get E, and which is E, and first one, A. So you get your G, C, uh, E, and A. I was going to say the other reverse, but it's not. It's uh, E and A, not A and E. Not in this case, except uh, I before E, if I step back to C. Okay, what can we do in this little fellow here? California people stick them in the sand and you know I don't think I'd want to do that but it's a little bit more rugged than these guys I suppose you could do that or people do do that that's my little demo of each one here how they sound and yeah working on these kind of things now and also lately concertina here I took accordion lessons way years ago started it was my first thing I ever did was the accordion and uh, had a few years in that and uh, it's helped me all along for all these other instruments so I'm working with the banjos the not the banjos little baby guitars the ukes on the uke rack and got a couple of racks for them in the back room and so on my den and grandma's den and uh, concertinas I just got this one just the other day on Sunday from Amazon.com.ca and we were getting another one. Uh, this is a 20 button Anglo um, GC40 Reed and uh, 
quite a bit different on each one of Constantinus and how you played them, you push squeeze out and out, you know, squeeze back, you heard that kind of thing. And uh, because it's diatonic, this one, and the other one uh, is a fully chromatic, so you can push in and pull in, you know, and you could get different tones and things like that without just the regular accordion where you're just going out and it's got the same do on the pull and pull and uh, where you go in, whether you go in or out words and uh, so I'm hoping I got the right thing. I believe I did because it's also an English concertina where you put the your thumbs through instead of the straps and then uh, quite a bit different uh, in uh, its playing action I guess but not so much in that it's fully chromatic too but they're uh, uh, I don't believe the Anglo ones go in inwards and outwards and in like a throw and a pull and pull and push kind of thing push in and out things like that anyways um, yeah good to come back in, into my music again and I mean after a mini stroke a very mild one and uh, I'm just very startled uh, tickled pink that I play all these things and concentrate and read and write and whatever you know, think pretty well and so on very happy for that and uh, hope you like videos let's see you again so long for now Here we are. See us, love.